goodness sake. I mean, this dude is just basically Toad. For... I hate the way he keeps falling off my combo. That does kind of suck. Uh, he's got no health. How How is he fighting on with zero health? Hello! Thanks for coming back to the channel! It's more Demon Slayer. I'm, I'm not sure how long Mitsuri Kanroji is going to stand there. Especially if I start shouting, but we shall see. So yeah, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we're picking up where we left off last time, which was the... Um, it was called, the episode was called Hinakami, but it was actually the spy, horrible spider demons. And yeah, and last time we left it, um, Tanjiro and Nezuko have been taken into the custody of the Demon Slayer Court. And I believe this... Next arc is called Hashira. So I thought I'd just chuck a random Hashira on here, which is, of course... Well, you'll probably see her. But I think we should just get on with it. And if you haven't noticed, you probably now understand why I've dyed the tips of my blonde dyed hair red. Because it's like Rengoku. Yes, there we go. I'm a Rengoku fanboy. Because I thought Mugen Train was next, and it's not. It's the Hashira meeting. So... Right, let's see where we go with this. I, I'd imagine there's just going to be a lot of talking in this. I'm not sure how much action there's going to be. I'm sure that even after this, there are some who cannot accept Nezuko. Work towards changing their minds. Prove them wrong. <laughs> Hey, you're awake. You passed out cold the second we moved you here. Everyone was worried because you weren't waking up. Figures I'd be the one who'd have to watch you. <laughs> I always said you were pretty out of it, but... Well, I guess she was right. Uh, I see. What's wrong? My head just feels a little foggy. I can't really remember what happened. Oh. Is that all? After all that, he's going to act this way? How arrogant is this kid? My stomach hurt so bad the whole time. After the mission on Mount Nadagumo. That's right. I... Maybe this is how we're going to put these bits in here. It's going to kind of be more flashbacky. Just wake the hell up! Wow, that's a great bedside <laughs> manner. The presence of the Hashira. I heard it was a demon slayer with a demon in tow. I was expecting someone with a bit more flair. It's Tenzin Izumi? But it's just some ordinary looking kid. Can't remember this guy's name, but he's we must see that this boy is put on trial to be judged. So it shall be. To think that he's been protecting his sister who was turned into a demon. What a brave and beautiful display of sibling love! I realise if this is the first time you're seeing the Hashira, what? this probably may not make a lot of sense. Who are all these people? Don't open your mouth until you're told! Do you know who you're in the presence of? These are the Hashira! The Hashira? I have no idea what that is. Who are all these people? Where even am I? This is the Demon Slayer's headquarters. You are here because you, Tanjiro Kamado, are to be put on trial. I don't understand how this is going to be a particularly actionable uh, chapter. I mean, I know what happens here. There's a glaringly bad amount of... Before we begin the trial, why I'll don't explain you explain the crime you have been accused there of? There is no need for a trial! Sorry for the interruption, but when I tried to upload this video, YouTube turned around and said this, meaning that I can't actually upload this video because it's blocked in all countries. Now, the problem I have with this was I looked up for this exact arc on some bigger creators. And as you can see here and here, they can upload it, but I can't. And I am get blocked if I try and do it. But it's okay, because they got lots of subscribers and I don't. So instead of calling out YouTube, on Twitter, I thought I'd just shove it in the video here and show you that this is a little bit unfair, but I'm just going to skip forward this part. Tanjiro Kamado, as a fellow demon slayer, for what purpose are you traveling with a demon? You can take your time, 
Just answer the question. She's my... my young... <coughs> you look like you need some water. I can tell you've injured your jaw, so please, drink slowly. I added an anesthetic to the water to help. Your wounds are still healing, so it would be best if you didn't push yourself. Are you ready to tell us your story now, Tanjiro? That demon... is my little sister. My family was attacked by a demon while I was gone, and... I lost them all. Except for her. She may be a demon, but she's never hurt anyone. She never has, and she never will. She'll never harm a human being, no matter what! Enough. Spare us the absurd ramblings. Anyone would defend their family. Why should I believe a single word you say? Sorry, but I'm not buying No one this. likes you, Igoro. Shut Please, up. just listen to me. I became a swordsman in hopes of finding her a cure. It has been two whole years since Nezuko became a demon, and she hasn't ever eaten anyone. Your storytelling is lacking any vibrant sparks of color. She hasn't eaten anyone, and she never will. If you're gonna plead your case, at least make it interesting to listen He's to such you. a meathead, is he? Excuse me. <clears throat> Something about this concerns me. I find it hard to believe the Master would have been unaware of this situation. Exactly, Mitsuri. I don't think we should act without his permission. Maybe it's best if we wait until he arrives. My sister. Let my sister stay by my side. She can fight to protect humans as a demon slayer. I know she can. So please. Well, well, well. Oh, what this guy's exactly do we have brewing over here? Is that the moron who's been traveling with a demon? <sighs> Start talking. What the hell are you trying to pull here? Oh, those new scars make Shinazugawa look even more handsome. Go on. Say that again, kid. She can fight to protect humans as a demon slayer. Isn't that what you said? Well, jokes and you, Shinazugawa, you know if she does. What call that? Being completely out of your mind, you idiot! Says the guy looks like he's on ketamine. <laughs> They've changed this from the anime Anyone slightly. my sister answers to me! I don't give a damn if you're one of the Hashira! <laughs> Is that supposed to scare me? Cease this at once. The Master will be here at any moment. The Master of the Mansion has returned. <clears throat> My beloved children, I thank you for coming here this day. I never knew his name. <laughs> Good morning to He's you just the Master. <coughs> the is strikingly nice today. Perhaps with the blue sky, finding ourselves here, at our semi-annual gathering, with all the same faces, it brings me joy. He looks wounded. No, sick maybe? Is he really their master? I wonder if he gets an origin story into this. The master, Nezuko. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm not. I'm not interested in the bits where they're just talking. She's been asleep. Doesn't explain. Oh, it. You look like you. Why don't you? We'll be safe, and I'm pretty. I'll go tell her. If you see any. Oh, okay. Thank you. Sh sure thing. Are they going to go into more of the bit with the Hashira meeting? Proper greeting. Looks like I. Let's go. Oh, we're gonna just going to walk Butterfly around the. Is she not? Is that? This is just this is just gonna be a collectible arc. Which is boring because I wanna fight stuff obviously. Okay, that's the way out.
I mean, it's quite cool. You get to see all these places in the anime, and here you can just kind of walk around in them. I do quite like that. That's pretty cool. Right, okay, so that is kind of all the collectibles done. I've got, kind of got that way and edit that bit out. I suppose we've got to talk to the people here, so we'll start at the bottom, and here's Owie. And she's doing the laundry as always. Hi, Owie. I think it is, is it? Yeah. I'm so glad you're awake. Uh, thank you. This place is for treating those who have been wounded in the line of duty. There is no need to apologize. Oh, well, thank you very much then. Though you are awake, your body, you need to keep resting to... Yes, hold... Is this really the same boy who made such a fuss at the Hashira meeting? Oh, so he... Oh. So are we just going to, uh... Are they going to do the rest of the Hashira meeting? Because I was going to kind of explain an absolute gaping loophole in it, but it looks like they're just not going to do it. Uh, let's talk to Whiny Pants then. Oh, Zenitsu, Inosuke. Oh, Tanjiro. What are you two? What do you think? We're lying in the. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, anyways, you met the master, right? Oh, what was she like? Oh my gosh, please. The master is a man. <sighs> I've lost interest in. Yes, and I've lost interest in you, Zenitsu. Shut up, you bug. <laughs> oh, there's a bit of gold at the top I've missed. I'll talk to the girls in a sec, but I'll get the uh, gold first. Okay. I can't remember their names. Huh? Tanjiro's awake. It's just as the Kakushi said. Please. Thank you, sir. How are your wounds, Tanjiro? Oh, uh, there are. Turn to your room. Okay. Can I get back in the house? Tomioka helped me on my mission again. I should thank him one of these days. Wait. That's what. Oh. So that's because Tomioka is awesome. This is a really, really chilled out blooming arc, isn't it? It's just as you've all reported. The demon's carnage has reached an all-time high. This means the threat to human life is greater than it has ever been before. We must bolster the ranks of the demon slayers. Now, what are your thoughts? The incident on Mount Nadagumo says it all. The caliber of demon slayers has dropped tremendously. Most of them are completely useless. The trainers must have gone blind. You'd think they could at least tell if someone's competent or not. 
The more the human race grows, the harder it becomes to control and unify them. And in this era, that seems to be especially true. We have those who've joined us after their loved ones were slaughtered. And those who have hunted demons for generations. But for the others, it's another matter entirely. Asking laymen for the same or even greater commitment to our cause. But we must consider that this boy, soon after joining, encountered one of the Twelve Kizuki. I think he can draw them out. Even we rarely get the chance to confront one. I am envious. A fair point. However, the fact that lower rank five made such a drastic move likely means Kibutsuji is far from Mount Naragumo. Like with Asakusa, whenever he wishes to hide something, he proceeds to create a clever diversion to throw us off his trail. To be honest, but as long as these demons linger as they do now, there is only one thing for us. I feel you who are present today, the Kors Hashira, are the finest unit I have assembled since the swordsmen of the feudal era. Tengen Uzui, Kyojiro Rengoku, Shinobu Kocho, Itsuri Kanrochi, Uichiro Tokito, Gyome Himejima, Sanemi Shinazugawa, Obanai Igoro, Giyu Tomioka, my beloved children. I look forward to seeing. Quite funny is when you actually know a bit of um, Shinikazawa's uh, backstory. It's a bit bizarre that he's that much of a prick, but oh well. <clears throat> when I like, that's it. That's it. There was nothing to that episode whatsoever. Okay, fine. Um, hmm. I'm a bit irritated that I didn't actually get anything to fight there, but hey, I just I'll take I'll take the achievement. What? How How can I get a rank of C when I had nothing to do? Okay, that's bizarre. Never mind. Um well, that will be uh chapter six hash meeting. There was actually no fighting there whatsoever, that was just talking. And you know what I say with too much talking, but hopefully it pads the story out for you. This kind of feels like a bit of a filler, and hopefully the next episode will have a bit more action in it, which, well, if it's, well, well I know what's coming up, which will be Mugen Train, and there'll be plenty of action in that. So I do apologise that they actually, that was kind of a, that was kind of more like a point and click adventure. Whatsoever. So You know what? Can I? Oh, hang on. Right. You know what? That was lame that there was nothing to fight there. I'm going to do the special mission. Just so we at least have some semblance of something to fight. Uh, oh. Do I see Tomioka available? I do see Tomioka available. Support fighter, well, Nezuko, of course. Okay, right. So I was quite disappointed with the fact there was absolutely no fighting there whatsoever. I get. What the hell is that? Will it? Oh my god! Tommy Oak is awesome! I am warning you, I'm going to be an absolute nightmare if I unlock Rengoku. Nice little tag fight there. Ah. So Tomioka got trained by Orokodaki, same as same as uh, Tanjiro. What? Why did that do absolutely nothing there? I don't like the way you can't hit him with. Oh shit! Oh, goodness sake! I mean, this dude is just basically toad for... I hate the way he keeps falling off my combo. That does kind of suck. Uh, he's got no health. How... How's he fighting on with zero health? Oh, wait. No, now he's just got full health again. 
Okay. I was like, what's he got? A fucking focus sash or something? Oh, shit! Oh, he's in... He's in... Ignore your attack pussy mode, yeah? Oh, constant flux is so cool. That missed, by the way. Shit! I literally hate the way they just they go into invincibility mode. Ugh. I mean, I was in the air when that happened there. I was in the fucking air when that happened. That they can hit you. I hate the way the water wheel doesn't seem to hit him. I know what I'm doing with Nezuko. Well, <laughs> he says. I'm ready when you are. Oh! I do dodged into it! It's quite input reading. Hold on! What? I just hit with an ultimate! Why, why did none of those ultimate attacks work? He just decided that I wasn't gonna fucking be allowed to use it. This is fucking cheating. Fucking... That is ridiculous! Right, I'm gonna give that a go. Right, I've changed the characters around a bit now, seeing if... Now, let's be honest, for a 17 hit combo, that should have done way more damage than it actually did. Okay, look, I've done the first part there without taking any damage. Yeah, you do that, mate. I jumped that. Come on, you pussy. You know what? I'm just going to wait for his thing to run out. Because then he'll have the big arc. Then I'll just back off. I mean, his super's lasting a very long time here. Mm -hmm. 
Oh my god, I caught him with it as well. Check this. This would be a this would be a finishing cut. Exploding wood. Have a 30 hit exp that didn't finish it. That didn't finish him? What? <laughs> that was ridiculous. That finish guy should have finished him. Very easy, quite obviously. There we go. There's an S rank. That's something to finish by. So there we go. That's the true end for this particular one. I'm sorry there was so much dialogue in that one. There was hardly any kind of action whatsoever until I did the secret mission. But guys, I'm going to leave this here and say, if you have come this far, thank you very much for choosing to spend your time with me. If you like this video, please drop a little like. Or subscribe to the channel if you're new. So I don't know what the next one is. I think it says the Butterfly Mansion is the next... Uh, is going to be the next story arc. Um, yes, the Butterfly Mansion. So this is obviously the, the training arc where they get back on their feet. So I'd imagine there's going to be lots of... I might be able to unlock Canal actually. Which would be quite cool. But yeah, we'll see where that goes. And hopefully I'll see you in a fortnight's time for that particular episode. But I'm going to leave this here. So thanks again for watching. Stay safe. And I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.